And next up, we have Dr. Gene Freeman, who will be giving his Superintendent's Award to one of our amazing seniors. Hi, I'm Dr. Gene Freeman, Superintendent of Asheville City Schools. The Superintendent's Award is an award presented by the Superintendent to the senior who has demonstrated overall excellence in academics, arts, athletics, community services, character, and leadership. This year, five students were nominated by the teachers of Asheville High School and the School of Inquiry and Life Sciences at Asheville. They were Seth Bellamy, Vivian Campbell, Bailey Lankford, Ben Neal, and Anika Stewart. Let me tell you a little bit about Seth. Seth is not only a great student and a young man, but is the definition of a leader in the classroom and within his community. Through Keeping It Real Club and the Racial Equity Initiative, Seth worked hard to build equity in our school community. Seth has also been elected as a class officer slash president every year since his freshman year. That's really outstanding. He is a member of the Superintendent's Advisory Board. He is also an advocate for social justice and has been a great educator to teachers through REAP. In addition, he puts his energy into the, the, the democratic system and as SILSA's SGA student body president, advocating for the rights and the representation of his peers. He always strives for personal excellence, taking multiple AP classes, AB Tech classes, and he is a leader in his community. He is truly an outstanding individual. Now a little bit about Vivian. Vivian Campbell is the epitome of an exceptional individual. She perseveres through any challenges and has the grit to succeed. At times, Vivian can struggle with her own understanding of a problem or how to fully capture her ideas in a cogent and clear way. Often this leads to her digging into the complexities of a task and she will continuously ask for clarification and understanding to find its rele relevance for her. Vivian flourishes in an artistic setting and it is very clear from her exceptional grades and impressive resume that music truly inspires her performance in all walks of life. In addition to her academic success, what really defines Vivian is her dedication to the marching band, working to learn a difficult instrument and excelling in how she exudes herself in every performance. She led the marching band as the drum major. Vivian also never settles for complacency. She strives to be a well-rounded student, citizen, and human being. Bailey. Bailey Lampford represents the best of the best at SILSA because of her dedication to creating a learning environment accessible to all. Not only did Bailey excel in advanced placement classes, but she also did her best to engage other students as well. She is an amazing, dedicated scholar in the classroom, as well as a supportive and kind friend to her fellow peers. Bailey actively recruited students into smaller groups to encourage more engagement and open discussion. When the course concluded, Bailey volunteered to assist in the classroom as a TA on her own time. In addition, Bailey also participates in theater as an extracurricular activity and tutors in the writing center. Bailey truly illustrates the idea that a rising tide lifts all ships. Now a little bit about Ben. Ben Neal is a notable mover and shaker on campus. Ben served as the student body president during a period of incredible challenges, but led and continues to lead with energy, optimism, and incredible endurance. Ben is a constant grounding force. He has represented the student voice with the school improvement team, the booster club, and impromptu discussions with administration on issues. Ben sincerely enjoys cheering on his peers and is the most school-spirited person on campus. 
he quickly reestablished the theme dress up for spring home football games. Ben is also a student athlete and was a member of the uh, Asheville High School soccer team for the last four years. Ben is a student with tremendous respect by the faculty. Teachers routinely speak about Ben being a stellar student in the classroom, eager to contribute and giving his best effort despite the challenge of the virtual classroom setting that we've experienced in the last year. Ben has certainly made his mark on Asheville High School. He is a sincere learner, outstanding scholar, well liked by his peers, an amazing young adult. Anika Stewart is also a true leader, calm and unassuming. As HOSA co-president this year, she has worked tirelessly to arrange guest speakers and she plans fun and informative meetings with little or no direction from the advisor and the participated HOSA virtual leadership conferences on the regional and state level. She is also active in the Interact Club with a GPA of 4.55, is the Math and Science Honor Societies. Outside of school, she served on the Immunization Coalition of Asheville and in conjunction with the Buncombe County Health Department, recruited HOSA students pre-pandemic to promote the men meningitis vaccine booster. She also works with the Curvy Girls of Asheville, conducting support meetings for girls with scoliosis. For this work, she was featured as Person of the Week with WLOS back in June of last year. That's really outstanding and great work. When we were unable to schedule a student blood drive at school due to the pandemic, Anika approached the American Red Cross and hosted her own blood drive in the community, collecting 31 units. An accomplished dancer, Anika has performed with the Asheville Ballet since her childhood. This year, we had two equally deserving students. Actually, we had five really outstanding students but we had to make a choice. The two equally deserving students both worked well together as they advocated for and served the students of both schools on one campus through this unprecedented time. I'm privileged to present this year's Superintendent Award to Seth Bellamy and Ben Neal, and congratulations to all those that were part of this selection, uh, all outstanding students. It really makes me proud that I live and work in a school district with such outstanding students. Thank you.